What's up, you fish hacks? Welcome to Tim's School of Fishing. Class is in session. You know, EDC guys are into a lot of different things. Most EDC guys are into knives. Some of them like folding knives, like I do. Some of them like fixed blade knives. Some of them like both. A lot of EDC guys are also into firearms. Some guys are not. I happen to be one of those guys that's into firearms, and I have quite a few firearms. EDC guys are into all kinds of other stuff, too. Sling bag, fanny packs, pens, $300 titanium pen, water bottles, all kinds of different gear. Some EDC guys are even into what I call pocket trash, little coins and trinkets and beads and stuff that I think is silly. If they want to collect it and be into that stuff, more power to them. It's just not for me. And a lot of EDC guys are also into watches. I also like watches. Now, I don't have any $3,000, $4,000, $10,000 watches. The most expensive watch that I currently own is about $120. I think I have about eight watches currently, and about four of them are currently retired. They're all beat up. You know, I wore them for so long that they, you know, they just don't look great anymore. They still work just fine. But I reserve those watches for when I'm outside working in the yard or working on the car or camping or fishing or something like that. Now, one day I'd like to have a Tag Heuer watch. I think it's pronounced Tog. Yeah, well, I'm from the South, so I'm going to call it Tag. And I could probably buy one now if I wanted to. I just haven't. I typically tend to prefer watches that are about $100 or less. And even though I don't have any watches that are currently over $120, I get a lot of compliments on my watch. Now, my style in watches is minimalist, kind of traditional. I don't have any smart watches. I don't like watches that have polymer wristbands or leather wristbands. I prefer a classic design, not a whole lot going on. Maybe a little flash of color is fine with me, but nothing too crazy. I don't need my watch to have GPS and do everything that my smartphone or my computer can do. I like my watches to tell me what time it is and look good. I prefer a watch that's on the heavier side with a stainless steel band or maybe titanium or tungsten and one that has a watch face no bigger than 43 or 44 millimeters. I'm just a simple man. So what I have for you guys today is a watch that I found and we're going to unbox and take a look at together and it has a wooden band. The band is made out of zebra wood and sandalwood. And I think this watch cost about $60. So let's get this camera turned around, open this box up, and take a look at what's inside. All right. All right, so this is made by a company called Bobo Bird. Some of you guys might think it's a Bobo watch, which is fine. But like I said, this watch was $60. I thought it looked really cool. Ah, oh, there we go. So the band is made out of um, zebra wood and red sandalwood. And it's got a blue stainless steel insert, I guess, that runs down the middle of the band. Blue face. There's not a whole lot going on. It's not overly busy not too flashy it's still that classic style watch that i prefer i think this one has a 43 millimeter face and this one's like 44 this is about as big as i like the first thing i notice is that this is much lighter than my other watches it's not nearly as heavy uh, it comes with some extra links and Cotter pins, pin removal tool here that's kind of like a sight pusher. If you guys are handgun guys and you've ever changed out the sights on your handgun, it's got a little insert, thank you card, and a little instruction. Comes in a nice little wooden box with a little pillow. I think this would make a great gift, Father's Day gift or birthday present for someone. I actually 
stopped the camera and took out two of the links. The circumference of my wrist is seven and a half inches. I typically have to remove two links from most watches that I get. From this one, I removed two. From this one, I had to remove three. Typically, I, I like my watches to be slightly loose. I don't like them to be, you know, super tight on my wrist, but I don't like it to be so loose that it's going to completely spin around. So I removed two links off of this one and it fits great. Now, it comes with that little link removal tool, but I use this from Eventronic. 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 Uh, I think I paid less than $10 for this, and this is one of the best investments that I have made. I've used it on several watches already, and for less than $10, this is perfect. Obviously, it's not jeweler grade, but do you really need that? for a less than a hundred dollar watch. So this little kit, I will link it in the description below. I'll also link this watch if you guys want to go check it out. I think they had it in like a darker ebony type wood. They had it without the stainless steel blue in there. Anyway, so this uh, link removal kit came with 20 different spring pins. It came with 10 different cotter pins. It comes with this little punch. This little pin punch and it's got several different size pin punch tips in there and what you do is you just unscrew that and put the correct size tip that you need for the pin that you're removing it comes with a little mallet that has like a vinyl coated side and also a metal side also came with the little pusher tool like that came with that watch and the best thing is it's got this little thing here so the way you do it is you just set your watch band in there and it's got a little hole in the bottom of the block so that the pin can slide down in there so you just set your watch in there like that take your punch tap it a few times and it'll come right out the other side super simple best ten dollar investment that i ever made and it came with all these extras which is great so just wanted to share that with you this is a bobo bird it's kind of a stupid name bobo some of you guys are going to think this watch is bobo i think it's pretty cool so just wanted to share that with you guys it's an affordable watch i think it looks cool i'm gonna wear it i like to match my watch with the clothes that i'm wearing so when i wear something blue i'll probably rock this bad boy right here I'm sure i'm gonna get plenty of compliments on it because it looks great i will link this down below if you guys want to check it out bobo bird zebra wood and red sandalwood watch i will also link this down below if you guys want to check that out as well that's it for this episode of tim school fish boys and girls class dismissed